Thank you for joining us here today at RoofSnap. We're going to show you how to account for your overhang sections. As you can see, we've already jumped into a project here that has um, two different levels. So it's got that second story, um, you know, main section of the house, and then it's got this first story area. Uh, and we've already drawn in a majority of the perimeter lines. I'm going to begin to zoom in here. We want to show you how to account for those overhangs. You know where the soffits will typically have about a foot overhang mm -hmm. uh, where the walls uh, kind of come up underneath of those soffits. Yeah. So we'll kind of start over here in the corner. You'll see I haven't included the valley line yet. Excuse me, I haven't included the ridge uh, that comes off of these two hips. Uh, so what I want to do is actually start here with this ridge. Because what I typically do is I'll stop just for a second when I get to where those rakes are, and you see how it's uh, 4.3 feet. Yeah, I can see that as you draw out the line there. Yep, so yeah. I'm going to just go on one more foot, uh, assuming that it is a one foot overhang. And then I'm going to come down that step wall. And we know that that step wall is going to hit right where that valley comes into place. So I'm going to stop there and then come back up and draw on my valley line. From here, I'm going to draw right across the front where that roof to wall flashing is going to be, you know, where apron metal would go, maybe some ice and water shield at that transition as well. Let's go ahead and just move the drawing over here a little bit. And I'm going to come up this valley as well. Using the 90 mode feature here, we are using the web app, of course. We can line up and make sure that our cursor, our, our crosshairs, turn orange when we've lined up with the top of that ridge over here on the right. Drop that line, of course. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this little hip that comes up. I'm going to follow the line of the, of the hip. And then when I get that orange line, I know that I'm lined up and I can draw in that next piece of step wall that comes over to that, uh, to that valley there. Now, it gets a little complicated here, uh, but what I'm going to do is come down that valley using that cursor tail again, and then I'm going to connect as well because there's a variation of step to apron to step as we come down mm -hmm. through those different changes, right? And that's the necessity for separating those lines, making sure our facets close, and we'll take a look at that here in a moment. Now, I don't want to come all the way down. I want to keep that overhang going on this side. You see it's 2.2 feet, so let me just come back to 1.2 feet. And then I can come across maintaining that one foot overhang. And when I get to where that little valley is going to connect to it, then I just kind of eyeballed it there, but I think I got it right on. Then we're going to come up this little section here, kind of right in the center of the gutter. And we're looking for that orange, there we go, that orange line to appear. All right, so I'm going to zoom back out here a bit. Great. And I'm going to jump into facets mode just to kind of see where we're at. So you see this double shading that has begun to appear? Mm -hmm. Well, that represents the section of roof above and below. Got it. So that's telling us the software is calculating for that surface area on both fronts there. Yep, and the last facet that we have to close here, which is why we're not getting the double shading up here yet, mm -hmm. uh, is simply because we do have a little overhang section that I wanted to show you guys how to draw. As we come across this gutter, we're not going to stop here at this eave. It actually comes in and has a little pocket underneath. Mm -hmm. So if we stop right on the line, it's a 15.8, so let's come out to 16.8, and then come up and just connect with a little pocket line right underneath that valley. Wonderful. All right, so we'll move it back down here, zoom out just a bit, pop over facets. to facets, yep. Awesome. And there, we have that correct double shading that we want for those overhang sections. Perfect. So of course, if you have any questions about drawing complex roofs, getting that double shading, uh, always feel free to give us a call. 1-877-766-3762. Great. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, guys.